state of relaxation or sleep. So now I'm going to turn the camera around and show you each piece in this beautiful Christmas village. Let's go. So this first section of the Christmas village features these three little houses. Let's show you some of them up close. The first house has these little carol singers inside. I believe this is actually a sort of church. You can see that there is a light in the window and you can actually see inside this specific village. Not all of the houses allow you to see inside, so I really like this one. This, like all the villages, is a glass village. And the windows are made of see-through glass. This village comes to life with the little villagers in it as well. So maybe I will show you a few of them. There's a man selling and reading newspapers. How cute is that? And these men are chatting right in front of this bookstore. This is called Books and Charts, which is really cute. This is an older piece. Usually the older pieces don't have any see-through windows. This flower shop is newer, so there is a see-through window, and you can see inside there's a florist making flower arrangements, and there's a little woman walking out of the store. This village also comes to life with things like lampos and trees behind. As well, we put down this little cute Christmas blanket. We cut it so that it fits behind here, and this looks like a big snow. I think it's really cute. Let's move on. The flower shop is one of my favorites, and this piece behind the flower shop is definitely older. I think it's from the 90s. There's a big fluffy tree in front. father and son duo walking out of their house. This to me looks like a Christmas house. A lot of these places are stores of some kind, but this is a cute little Christmas house decorated with these really pretty lights and a Christmas garland. There's some snow on the roofs of these buildings, all of them. How cute are they? show you the other houses as well. This next house needs some repairs, so let's not focus on that. This is one of the newest houses because it has these colorful blinking lights. You can also see inside and there are two tables, so I would assume this is a restaurant of some sort. Let's get a closer look. Can you see the little tables inside? And the blinking lights are very festive. They go from yellow to red to green. It's very pretty and very cozy. I would probably love to visit this restaurant in actuality, but I heard it's closed due to COVID. <laughs> oh, it's a cafe. I can see the words cafe. Sorry about my COVID joke. <laughs> Behind that, we have the inn. So if you're coming from out of town, there is a little inn. This is another one of our older Christmas houses. Can you see the snow on the roof? It also has some lovely little garland at the inn. The windows have lights in them, but they're not see-through, and that's how you know it's an older house. But look at these kids playing with their snowmen in front. They are newer. I will show you what the older kids look like. Mind you, you can probably see. See this little Christmas tree? This is an older Christmas tree. It's probably also from the 90s. You can see that they're less detailed with their design. Let's go in for a closer look. Can you see his face? It's still really cute. As they look like they're decorating the tree. But these children right beside, you can see. They're a lot more detailed. 
singing Christmas carols. And right behind, I will show you an older Santa. I will just grab him. <laughs> this Santa is very, very old. I don't think. No. I just checked the year, and there is none underneath. Usually, they have the years, like one of the houses I saw said 1990. He's probably from around that time. He's really Also a newer church. It had the blinking lights like the newer houses do. Like this one in the distance that blinks. It was the same, but the lights just died on me literally the other day. So I'm just gonna quickly show you this church. There are no lights, so it's not that exciting, but it's very pretty and detailed and ornate, so I really like this piece. Now, speaking of broken, <laughs> this tree actually broke on us a while ago. This was actually a moving tree. It still has the lights, thankfully, but the tree and the little people around it would move around. Look at this little girl in her snowman. She's so cute. Look how cute the little dog is on this tree as well. So yes, he would spin around, but now he doesn't. So it actually makes quite a bit of noise if you can hear that. But it's really pretty. This stand is just like a plasticky stand. But when it used to spin, it looked quite cute. Behind the tree that doesn't spin, there is the post office, and it's older. But it's still very pretty, with the snow on top. It's a glass ornament. Or I should say a glass house. I love these little, almost kitschy lights on the top. I find them to be so cute. And every village needs a post office. Because you need to send your friends and family from far away a Christmas card. I love this one. Now let's move to the department store. This department store is a newer one. You can see the Nutcracker on the top. I love the Nutcracker. It's one of my favorite plays. This is a really pretty house. It's very detailed with the outside and on the inside. There are lights all over that shine. Thankfully, these lights have not gone out yet. Let's look in the windows. You can see some little toys in the window. This father already bought some toys for his daughter. And she looks very happy. She's holding a gift and he's holding a poinsettia. <laughs> this village almost looks so real. I bet you my hands look like giant hands in this little tiny village. I love these little villagers. They help tell a story of the village. Look how happy they look. They look like they bought presents and they're saluting someone. <laughs> Maybe they bought candles from the candle maker. This is another really old piece. Easily one of the older ones from the 90s. But look, it still works. Just a simple light on inside the window. And it looks so warm and inviting. With the snow near the chimney. This almost looks like a German style house.
fisherman, he clearly brought the fresh fish. The lighting inside looks very warm and I absolutely love that. It's almost flickering. So it looks like they're eating by candlelight. And look how pretty this is. This is like a lighthouse design. I like this restaurant a lot. It's also one of the newer ones, but when I say newer, I probably mean at least 10 to 15 years old. <laughs> okay, maybe less, but yeah, this is really cute. Look at the little walkway. Restaurant. Very cute. Let's go over to the Christmas shop. At this Christmas shop, you can see Santa Claus in the window. And there's a man and a woman, and she's very chic. I love her outfit. And I love her little dog, too. He looks like a little spaniel, like a little cocker spaniel or something. Do you guys see that? I hope it's focusing. There you go. How cute is he? And how pretty is she? And the man in the background is saying, Honey, are we done shopping yet? <laughs> Look how cute he is next to the Christmas shop. I love this Christmas shop because there's a tree in the window and I love even in real life when I see a Christmas tree in a window. I find that so festive. I apologize if this footage is a little bit shaky, but I'm holding it with my hand. Look how cute this looks with the changing lights. It looks so warm and inviting. There's snow on this rooftop. This is a very chic Christmas shop. And what I love about these houses is that they're really at least three out of the four walls are all so nicely designed that it just looks absolutely beautiful. This Christmas village is so warm and inviting. Look, there's even lights on this tree behind. Very cute. Now let's look at the gingerbread house. This gingerbread house is definitely one of the more unique pieces. It's a very fun and whimsical little gingerbread house. He has some simple lights on inside, but otherwise the real magic is outside. It looks like it's decorated with real candies. Almost like a Fruit Loop looking things and mint candies and chocolate swirls. Do you guys like gingerbread houses? I think that I decorate one probably every year. So I will decorate one this year as well. I actually really love eating gingerbread as well, so this house makes me hungry. <laughs> Sorry, it's actually called a gingerbread cottage. It really does look more like a cottage, wouldn't you say? In Canada, we call cottages what you might call cabins in the United States or elsewhere. So a cottage or a cabin is sort of the same thing. In this case, this is a gingerbread one. I love this one, it's so cute, adorable. And lastly, we have this little sleigh, this little horse and carriage. There's a cute little couple on there. They're not holding hands though, I guess they're very modest. It's a horse-drawn sleigh. And behind the sleigh is the final house, which is the library. Again, an older piece. With beautiful snow on top of the roof. Look how warm and inviting the library looks. Another glass piece. The library is very pretty with its little red door. And definitely every little house has such a special little meaning and it creates such a nice village. You can't have a village without a library. I love reading. So I would really appreciate going to a library right now, too. There's something so cozy about it. So I hope you enjoyed looking at this Christmas village with me. And I hope you're feeling very relaxed and happy to have seen it. As I said, this village has been in our family 